in this video we are going to look at an important parameter within SAP which controls the RFC communication. <coughs> so remote function call communication is basically SAP communicating <coughs> or letting data inside or outside the SAP system. So we are going to look at a parameter which controls the RFC connection. So we are going to go to transaction RG11 <coughs> which is display parameter. Then we're going to put the parameter RFC auth, auth slash backslash RFC authority underscore check. Okay. We display the parameter. The parameter value should be set to 1. Okay. So here if you see the current value is set to 1 here. So all the other options available for this parameter is basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 9. If it is zero, that means do not check for RFC authority object. Okay, so that means there is no authority of RFC check, uh, SMS or RFC object check at all. So uh, make sure we the, this parameter set to one. If you need more documentation on this parameter, you just click on this display documentation. You can see here log on required, but no authorization check. Okay, <clears throat> so this uh, parameter makes sure execution of RFC is made when the execution of RFC is made SMS core RFC object is checked okay so here we just want to make sure we are set to number one okay okay we want uh, logon to be uh, performed and uh, RFC SMS core RFC has to be checked the only exception is SMS core RFC function group Okay. Rest of the function group, RFC is getting checked. So you can also uh, read the, all the documentation which is available. Uh, what are different options available? Uh, but the preferred best practice is one. Thanks for watching the video. Click below to register for the webinar which we are conducting next week. Thank you.